What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. First of all, Hannah and I want to say thank you to Kimchi and Beans, Marie and Ball for being the gracious hosts that they were. We had a ton of fun in Chicago. I will leave the link to their channel down below. Make sure you follow them. We started off the day by visiting McDonald's University, which was fun and interesting. Keep watching to see what that's all about. Walked around Chinatown, learned a little bit about the history, ate some good pastries at this local favorite chain there that's really popular some unique buildings and we ended the day by actually eating some good korean barbecue so sit back relax and keep watching hamburger university so it's a school for mcdonald's <laughs> What kind of food do they serve in there? Uh, hamburgers? Supposedly they test all the type of food. Yeah, different. like international, that's where they test the uh, foods where they're gonna, you know, go anywhere international. And, and then they test to see before the they release it to the public kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, this is the headquarters of testing McDonald's <laughs> food. <laughs> Global menu, you don't know they're here. Chicago. We got Japan with the samurai mac. Oh, samurai mac, wow. Canada stuff, Philippines, right here. Coffee mac wow. Damn, they even serve donuts in the Philippines. <laughs> That's pretty cool. favorite a coffee uh, McFlurry with Oreo in there. Go for it, friend. Since I can't eat it, you can have it. You're missing out. What do you think, Brian? Good? Indulgent. <laughs> Very good. Imported straight from China, I believe. Welcome to Chinatown. That's pretty cool, right? This building here is kind of like a, I want to say, a cultural center, but I remember them telling us that uh, here they would help people that were coming from China, kind of like help them adjust and like. If they needed, if they wanted to learn English, they would set them up with like English classes and stuff like that. And I guess work too, I think. Okay. You definitely tell us. bought a couple of things from Chuquan Bakery out there in Chicago, old Chinatown. I got the almond cookie and the Portuguese egg tart. I was about to 
order a few more things but I was really full and just wanted to try out some of their famous pastries. So this is their almond cookie. It looks soft to the touch. And I can tell this is really sweet already just by looking at it. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Check that out. I got this off the recommendation from Maria who said this is one of their best selling cookies. So yeah, definitely soft, chewy. Mmm. It's great. This will go well with coffee, most definitely. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go get myself some coffee and finish off this cookie. I would highly recommend this. It's very cheap and um, yeah, tastes really good. All right, check out that Portuguese egg tart. Let's go uh, have a bite. Mm. Mm. Super soft. To taste the egg. It's very um it's crumbling in, in my fingers. But that's good. And yeah. Not too sweet, I think. This is another one that you can pair with coffee for sure. And it's breakfast time over here, so I'm gonna get my coffee. Be right back. But definitely recommend these pastries. Get the Portuguese egg tart, lemon cookie. In fact, just get anything from there. I think a lot of the things that they sell over there are really, really good. Uh, I heard you guys got to try the bun. I, again, I was so full I couldn't, I couldn't order those anymore. We were all full, so we just decided to get some desserts. And yeah, definitely check out Chu Kwan Bakery. I think that's how you pronounce it. This used to be an old Italian neighborhood. Oh, and then Chinese took over. The, the took over. You can see the remnants of the flags here, the colors right there. Church? You can see that. It's still, still an Italian church. It's still an Italian church? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a Catholic church. And then, kind of like unifying of both cultures, they have the Chinese lines. Uh -huh. And I think the male one is the one that has his paw on the globe, and then the female one has the paw on something. Yeah. <laughs> on something. Yeah. And then again, they just kind of like symbolize that uh, the Italian culture is still uh, Yep, the flag. Yeah, colored flag. And, um, yeah. You can hear the train. But now you know, if it has nine symbols, it's mm. the stamp of the emperor. Ah. Oh. Okay. Towards the Chinatown. Yeah. They have the public library right there. I think this is where you get your tour guides. We are at Bing Pong Park. Right outside of Chinatown. Let's take a water taxi here. Zodiac. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 
most awesome mythical of all time in the That's me. I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon. Green matcha? Dolgona matcha. That was crowded. Not sweet at all, right? No. Other than the, the boba, of course, and the boba syrup, but the drink itself is not sweet at all. Which one do you prefer? The one that we had last time or this one? Well, this one's not sweet. I mean, the, the taro is my usual, my go to, and this is something different. And they're both good. Something new. Something lychee <laughs> with boba. You both like it? I, I do like it. I was uh, at first. I was like, "Are those coconut bits?" <laughs> <laughs> but then no. Uh, Henner corrected me. He's like, "Yeah, that's shaved lychee." So mm. good. It looks good. Terminator. <laughs> It does. Could it be a small omelet? I don't know. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know what to do. If you have not subscribed yet, ring that bell so you get notified of all our future videos. Like comment and share and we'll see you in the next one bye guys